Hey, I'm Matthew Muscoviak from CNET, and today we're going to take a look at the Sharp HT-SB60. This is a super long soundbar system designed for TVs 60 inches and up, and is currently selling for around $320. This is the longest soundbar I've seen, coming in at 54.5 inches. That makes it a good fit for jumbo TVs, but it also means it's not going to fit well in most living rooms, unless you have a lot of space. Now, while the soundbar is very long, it's actually pretty thin and short, coming nowhere near blocking our TV's remote sensor like some soundbars do. The design itself has a plasticky, kind of cheap feel, and the alarm clock style display only adds to that. The included wireless subwoofer gives off the same vibe, although you can probably stash it out of sight as long as it's close to a power outlet. The included remote is a good size, but the button layout is a little confusing. The big volume rocker actually controls volume for your TV, with the directional pad handling soundbar volume adjustments. On the upside, you can adjust the subwoofer level right from the remote, which is a nice plus for program-by-program -program tweaks. Around back are the inputs, including two HDMI inputs, one optical, and an analog mini jack. That's more ports than most soundbars have, although if you plan on connecting all your devices to your TV first, then connecting your TV's optical output to the soundbar, you won't necessarily need all those HDMI inputs. Still, they're a nice plus, especially if your TV doesn't have many HDMI ports in the first place. The big missing feature is built-in Bluetooth. Most soundbars this year are including Bluetooth, which is the easiest way to wirelessly stream audio from most smartphones and tablets. The Sharp doesn't have it, so you'll need to get a separate device if you're looking for wireless audio streaming. In terms of sound quality, the Sharp is one of the most impressive soundbars I've heard. The extra long design means you get some real stereo separation between the speakers, and it just sounds bigger than other soundbars in this price range. Even more impressive is that it actually sounds pretty good with just stereo music, which nearly every other soundbar struggles with. In head-to-head -head comparisons, the HT SB60 overall sounded better than the competing Sony HTCT260. And I also compared it to Vizio's 5.1 soundbar. And while the Vizio's rear channel speakers did create a more immersive experience for movies, the Sharp was better for music. So overall, the Sharp HT SB60 is one of the best performing soundbars at this price. Its extra long size means it won't fit well into every living room, and the lack of Bluetooth is a real minus, but if you're okay with those shortcomings, it's a great sounding value for just $320. I'm Matthew Muscoviak, and this is the Sharp HT SB60.